Well, in a much lighter story this evening, imagine playing soccer. You kick a ball around, but not this time. You actually fly a drone, and appropriately named, it's called Drone Soccer, and it's taking off in schools across the country, including here in the southern tier. And WNY's Max Coven had the chance to see the game firsthand, and also he tried playing it himself. Max. Nick and Renata, first of all, I can't play, but this new kind of game is taking off in schools. Like mentioned in Watkins Glen, drone soccer is a real-life version of Quidditch from Harry Potter, blending STEM learning with competitive play. Three, two, one, liftoff. Drone soccer is a five-on-five -five sport where players pilot small, caged drones through a high-speed aerial match. The goal, get the striker drone through the opponent's ring while defenders try to block the shot. GST BOCE started a drone soccer league and was looking for teachers who or staff who were interested in um, working with students to teach them how to build and program and fly drones f through a sport. So it's, it's learning about aviation and playing at the same time. So it's a great way for kids who might not have known they might be interested. It's not just about flying, it's about teamwork, strategy, and technical skills, including STEM. Teachers say it gives students a new way to compete outside of traditional sports. Getting the experience of being on a sports team, um, getting the experience of being teammates, you know, working together, and additionally learning those skills, the technical skills. Students say it takes a lot of practice to master the controls. Even the smallest movements can send drones in unexpected directions. You have to go really slow because the it goes really fast if you want to like if you're trying to go forwards you don't want to like press really hard because it could break or it could not go forwards and start going backwards or like if you're going up and down you don't want to go really fast to go up and down you kind of just want to hover. Speaking of moving slowly that's something I did not do successfully. The players have specific roles. One of the most important, the goalie. Oh, so what I do is I protect the ring. So I'm, I was the one flying in, like, in front of the ring itself, uh, being able to block the, the striker from the opposite team from striking uh, to get scoring. And I, uh, I'm the one that's uh, I'm basically stopping the points from going through. I'm the final line of defense. Well, drone soccer may still be new, but it's gaining soaring popularity. This giving students that STEM education, and who knows, this may become the next big thing in schools nationwide.